Welcome to another Super Deluxe Edition unboxing video. Today we're going to take a look at Jellyfish, When These Memories Fade. This is a new 7 inch single box set from Newland Records. And as you can see this is still sealed this box set. This is a coloured vinyl 7 inch single box set. Uh, there is a black vinyl one um, on the way later this year because these sold out so quickly. But we're going to take a look at this coloured vinyl edition right now. Uh, so surprisingly the sticker is actually underneath the uh, shrink wrap. I wasn't expecting that. But um, yeah, Jellyfish were one of those bands that deserve more success than they actually got. They released two studio albums, Belly Button and Spilt Milk in the early 90s. But something about the UK, I think they sort of resonated in the UK. They didn't really have many hits. In fact, they only had one small minor hit. But um, anyway, let's take the lid off and have a look at this box set. So there we go. We have the all-important 3D glasses. If you're wondering what these are doing in here, there's a 3D um, poster here. Yeah, in the UK, there was uh, one of the singles, I Want to Stay Home. It came as a CD single with a pair of 3D glasses. So uh, quite a cute little reference to that. You can see they've sort of got the full jellyfish branding on them. Of course, the idea is you put those glasses on and then and there you go. You get the full impact of the uh, of the 3D poster. Now, one of the highlights of this particular box set is is this book. It's like about 66 pages, something like that. But there's a lot of commentary in here from band members. Not Andy Sturmer, but you know most of the other people that were involved somewhere along the way. Roger Manning Jr. being um, one of them. Jason Faulkner, of course, he he played in uh, on the first album. Yeah, and, and some really great work here in terms of the archive photography. Um, you know, old adverts. Yeah, this sort of stuff does make a difference. Because, you know, you've actually got something to read and digest. You're not just opening a box, emptying out the contents. And saying to yourself, yeah, they look good. and putting them back and that's it. There's the discography at the end. Yeah, so I really like that little perfect band uh, book. Now for the singles themselves, there's six UK singles, I think. And then there's a bonus one at the end. So we'll have a look through these. So this is The King is Half Undressed. I mean, it's based on the original UK 7-inch single. So that's uh, got Calling Sarah as the B-side. The King is Half Undressed on the A-side. This is the one that I think this is kind of scraped into the top 40. I think it was like late 30, something like that. They played this on um, The Word on Channel 4. Baby's Coming Back, yeah, so this is, I mean, these songs and the singles are also good. Uh, the All these singles had B-sides that were on the album, which is kind of, probably at the time, that was a bit disappointing. There weren't any new studio tracks. But one of the advantages now with this box set is you're sort of building the album together by via seven-inch singles. There was a CD of this which had a sort of nappy, material cover on it. It's kind of quite quite weird. There you go, that's a sort of creamy sort of colour vinyl. So this was uh, Now She Knows She's Wrong from the Belly Button album, but it was released as an EP at the time called the Scary Go Round EP. And there was a cassette version, there was a CD single, I think there might have been a 10 inch or something like that. But the the bone the great thing about that is it means you get four tracks on this particular seven inch, and they are now she knows she's wrong and bed spring kiss which are both on the album, and then a live version of she still loves him another track from the record and baby's coming back it's all done in the sort of you know parlophone early Beatles styly. There you go, that's a nice pink vinyl record. I want to stay home. This was. The last single from, I was just thinking there's four singles from the first album and two from the second. That's why there's six. It's not three and three. Uh, the B side to this is Jet Live, which is pretty good. Cover of the Paul McCartney and Wings classic. 
And this is a sort of a kind of white creamy color. The, uh, I should say the seven inches are quite a sort of reasonably heavy weight. I mean, not absurdly so, so, like you'd sometimes get, but they're, they're definitely heavier than what a standard seven inch would have been back in the day. Yes, yeah, so we're on to the second album now, which was called Spilt Milk. This was a bit more Queen ELO, whereas the, early, the earlier record was a bit more sort of Beatles-esque, tight sort of uh, pop. I think the second album was a bit more kind of extravagant, really. Uh, this is Ghost at Number One, which was the name of the song. This is the edit of that. And then All Is Forgiven, again, that was on the album. Blue vinyl. These box sets sold out in a day, so you were selling them on the SDE shop. So if you ordered one, then you're lucky because they're going to be quite rare, I think. And then the second single from Spilt Milk was New Mistake, which has another track from the album called He's My Best Friend on the B-side. Um, I was thinking this was the first single, but it wasn't. It was the second single. This really should have been the first single. I think New Mistake was um, was a sort of more commercial offering than uh, The Ghost at number one. So I think it was a, a big mistake for New Mistake not to be the first single. This looks like it's a pink vinyl pressing, which it is. And then the bonus single at the end is a couple of covers. So these uh, weren't released at the time. I mean, no matter what, actually, that that did end up on a, a reissue, I think, of uh, Belly Button. It was definitely on one of the singles, but that's live no matter what. And then the, this, was, this was the last thing, apparently, Jellyfish did in the studio. Cover of the uh, Nielsen song, Think About Your Troubles. So that's quite a nice touch, having that as uh, one of the tracks on this particular bonus single looks like it's an orange vinyl pressing which it is so you can see the back of the box there just has the covers of the singles so these all go back into the box there's the uh, covers seven inch new mistake ghost at number one i want to stay home scary go round ep baby's coming back and the king is half undressed that excellent booklet sits at the top. 3D poster and the all-important 3D glasses. Very nice job. As I said, this, um, I mean, you either like seven-inch box sets or you don't. But uh, very good job. I like the booklet. The coloured vinyl pressing is nice. I'm a big jellyfish fan, so anything like this. I think I'm always going to be jumping on, uh, as many of you did. If you want to order this, well, if you want to order this, it's too late because they've all sold out. However, the next best thing is to get the Black Vinyl Edition, which is shipping in December, I think. So there's a pre-order on the SDE shop. I'll put the link up. Well, actually, I'll put the link in the description of this video. But um, you can go to the sdeshop.com anyway. You'll see it there. But I hope you've enjoyed this look at Jellyfish. When These Memories Fade, this is a new 7-inch coloured vinyl box set from Newland Records. If you have enjoyed, why not subscribe to the SDE YouTube channel for more great physical music unboxed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.